welcome to Stoke Bruin. We've been here for a couple of days. Uh, we've been trading, this is our third day trading. Um, and the weather is unpredictable. As normal, we've just had a rainstorm. David will pop something in now. So we're drying off now. <laughs> Things got a little bit damp, didn't they? So we're gonna show you a little bit of Stoke Bruin and um, tell you a little bit about the history of this uh, beautiful place. I'm gonna take them a walk down the road. Okay, do, do browse our new display as, okay. as you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's our new uh, grid wall display that we've got going on there, which has been working well, hasn't it? Yeah, we love it, it's brilliant. I don't like that cloud behind you. Don't talk about clouds, <laughs> enough clouds. <laughs> All right, see you in a moment. Bye. We were trading with two other traders, Kay being one of them. Kay is a very talented canal art artist and historian. You can follow Kay on Instagram and if you scroll back to her Stoke Broom post, she investigates a horrific accident in Blisworth Tunnel where steam powered boats and horse drawn boats met. Thank you. What are you making, Gareth? Uh, some copper earrings. Copper earrings? Copper earrings. Lovely. Turn some recycled no copper into some uh, into some jewellery. Lovely. What pattern is it today? Uh, was it just uh, something uh, simple? Or? They're going to be little rectangles, but I'm going to stamp some paw prints in and some love arts. Oh, lovely. Things like that on those, and then I've got a few other designs I'll do in a bit. Yeah. Providing this rain all the Yes, looking I've a just had a message again. off Shane saying, rain do come back. Uh, yeah, it's so. looking a bit ominous, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway guys, this is Gareth and Lou from Cruising Crafts. I'm sure you know them, but the link will be in the description below. Go and say hello to them. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> See you later. See you See later, guys. Bye. Stoke Bruin is situated between the Blisworth Tunnel and a flight of seven locks on the Grand Union Canal. It's a great canal destination, being the home of two pubs, one cafe, a museum, an Indian restaurant, holiday lets and boat trips. And there's also beautiful walks along the canal, or you can walk up into the woods. The top block is often surrounded by gongoozlers, watching and dreaming of living on a narrowboat. Housed on two floors of a historic corn mill, the country's first canal museum at Stoke Bruin provides an overview of the history of Britain's canals. It offers a fascinating insight into the rich waterway heritage of Stoke Bruin and the Grand Union Canal and the people that lived and worked on them. We had a great weekend trading with Kay, Gareth and Lou. We would like to say a massive thank you to everyone that came to see us. In the evening, we popped along to the boat inn for a pint and a game of Skittles. Keep watching to find out who was victorious. Look at the sun behind us. The sun like, came out in the You end. look like an angel with a hey, like, thing then, darling. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Just gone off past seven. <laughs> We're all um, packed away. And we've had our tea, haven't we? Yeah, I'm a bit stuffed now, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, stuffed. And uh, we're just going down to the boat inn to meet uh, Kay and, and Gareth. Lou and Gareth. And Lou. From Cruising Crafts, there's the boat. <laughs> and uh, have a drink and a natter. And a game of Skittles. And maybe a game of Skittles, which will be a bit of fun, won't it? Yeah, I don't think I've ever played Skittles. Never. Is it a northern thing? No. <laughs> It's a normal thing, not a northern <laughs> thing. So yeah, oh, see how we get on. <laughs> Bit of fun throwing a ball at a couple of wooden things. Fun, dangerous. Dangerous for you, definitely. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be stood out of the way. <laughs> it's not working. Here we go. The boat in. Beep beep. Oh. Well, especially when you fell over backwards and fell in the gaps between the boat. Well, no! Oh. 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 Thank you.
Just uh, about to leave Stoke Bruin. It's our final morning here. We're just at the water point. This thing's crazy. This is the uh, probably the best pressure I've ever seen from a water point, but our hose has absolutely had it. It's like one of those water sprays that you see when you're abroad to keep you cool. I think we need a new one. But yeah, that's us. The lock's there. Shane's just getting the pooch ready and then uh, getting you ready. That's quite good water pressure there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not even time to brush my teeth before we get moving this well, morning. Well, snooze you lose, is what they say. I did snooze last night, didn't I? You did snooze, yeah. I crashed from about six o'clock. <laughs> yeah. That's okay though. Sometimes it's Decent few days, dodging the rain every now and again. It's just look. Morning. morning. Um, but yeah, that's us for Stoke Bruin. Just another little vlog for you. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. Did you say bye? <laughs> I did. I kissed and I blew to kisses. Say bye. 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 bye.